Network fees are one of the most persistent pain points in blockchain-based payments. If you ever tried to send USDC and had to deal with gas fees, you know exactly what I mean. The reason is simple. The most common type of wallet on EVM-compatible chains is called an externally owned account or EOA. EOA requires the blockchain's native token like ETH on Ethereum to pay for network fees. This means even if you have USDC in your wallet, you cannot move it unless you have some ETH to cover the fees. This changes with Ethereum Ethereum's recent Pectra upgrade. Pectra combines the PREC execution layer updates with the Electra consensus layer updates and rolls 11 Ethereum improvement proposals into a single release. Amongst those proposals, the most transformative for everyday users is EIP-7702. EIP-7702 lets an EOA wallet momentarily upgrade itself to a smart wallet for a single transaction. During their one-off upgrade, it can bundle several actions into one on-chain transaction, apply spending controls just like how you would set an ATM withdrawal cap on your bank card, or use gas sponsorship where your application can either cover those network fees or have your users pay those fees in USDC. That last feature, gas sponsorship, is where Circle Paymaster comes in. Circle Paymaster handles the ETH gas on behalf of your app or your users and settles the cost in USDC behind the scenes. From the user's perspective, the wallet only needs to hold USDC and the transactions will work. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up a Pectra upgraded EOA wallet and send a gas-free USDC transfer using Circle Pay Master. Let's dive in. First thing first, open up a fresh terminal window, create a folder, go into that folder, Then what you want to do now is to initialize a node project. So you go npm init y, and then choose a code editor of a choice. In this case, I'm using Visual Studio Code, and I'm just going to open it up. Once you have it open, you can check the package.json file. And by default, it has a type called common.js, and you want to change that to module because if you want to use the modern import and export syntaxes, you will need to change the type to module. So go ahead and make that change. And once done, you want to install a couple of dependencies. You want to install VM, you want to install um, ethers as well as .env. So npm install vm.env ethers. And while it is loading, let's go and create our environment variable file, our .env file. And in here, we want to paste a couple of variables. So I'm just going to go copy this, paste it. And what you see here um, from the bottom up, you see the USCC address, the Paymaster version 8 address. These are on Arbitrum Sopolia, and that is our demo for today. The recipient address, you can choose whoever you want to receive the USDC. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I am using an alternative that is provided by Foundry. Foundry has this CLI tool that uses this advanced encryption standard, this AES to wrap your, your private key for secure storage and retrieval. So I am us using an alternative for this demo. So if you want to do that, what you need to do is to perform the command cast wallet import, give it a name and call it wallet, then interactive. What they're asking now is for your private key. So I'm going to grab my private key, paste it, put your own password, and you see that the key store was saved successfully locally outside of your code base. So, and this is the associated public address. This would differ from person to person. So make sure that the absolute path is pointing correctly if you are using this alternative method provided by Foundry. What you want to do next is to create an index.js file and import all the necessary dependencies. So I'm just going to create and create an index.js file and import all the dependencies that I will require for this um, demo. And what's next is I'm going to assign some constant variables just for better readability. I'm going to show you what's next. So I'm using we are using Arbitrum Sopolia. You know, the USCC address is as such. Then we're going to read um, using ethers. You know, we're going to read the key store path. And then we're using the VM library 
to wrap that private key so that we can actually use um, that account. Now we want to also create a public client using the VM library. And we do that also through VM. So we are passing in the chain Arbitrum Sopolia, the transport, and then we're performing an asynchronous function to convert that EOA wallet into the 7702 smart account. So what's next is we want to put in a helper function just to check if your account has a minimum of one USDC to perform the transfer. So we are going to do that in here. You can see we are getting the contract, which is the USDC contract. And then we are calling the function balance off to see whether or not your balance, the account that you have provided has at least one USDC here. If not, go into our public faucet, faucet.circle.com to get free testnet USDC. It's awesome. What's next is we want to create a permit.js file. Mm, second, I'm just going to create a permit.js file. Paste it in here, save it as well. So permit.js actually uses this EIP 2612 permit. And since USDC allowance is required for CircuitPay Master to spend the USDC in your wallet, right? To pay for the fees. And this signed permit can be used to set the Paymaster allowance without submitting a separate transaction. So paste that contents and we'll be using that contents very soon. So now let's grab our Paymaster contract, go back to our index.js file, paste it in. Um, we are getting the Paymaster address and you can see that we are setting the permit amount to be 10 USDC. We're assigning the permit and then we are encoding the Paymaster data and then we are returning um, some of the data so that we can use it later on in our bundler functions. So next, we want to create a bundler client. For this example, yeah, we are using Pimlico as our public bundler client to submit our user operation. Go ahead and use that function, create bundler client. And you can see in our transport, we are using Pimlico and we're using Arbitrum Sopilla as our chain. Next, we for 7702 smart accounts, right? You need to sign that authorization to set uh, before you can actually submit the user operation. So paste it in here and we're actually um, signing the authorization here. Then we're going to use the bundler client to submit the user op. So we take the authorization, that sign authorization, um, and then we pass it into the function called send user operation by the Pimnico bundler client and we return the hash and we just output the hash. So we're near the end. So all you need to do to close the loop is to wait for the transaction hash, the receipt. So you can actually use the function here where the bundle client can just wait for the user operation receipt. And once done, you can also output that, that hash. And then we end the loop. So go ahead and save it. Remember the address, your public address, grab that address, Go into our faucet.circuit.com, paste it in, fund the wallet. Um, in this case, I have already funded. So what I'm going to do now is to fund manually. Once we have funded the USDC, we can actually go ahead and start. So I'm just going to do node index.js. And second, balance off is written no data. And second, I need to, I see the error. Um, I was using the wrong testnet address. I'm going to go here because here is the most reliable. I'm going to copy the address for the token. And then I will paste the address here. And in here, um, what I'm going to do now is to do the function once more. Bugs happen all the time. So you can see now we have submitted a user operation hash. 
and we have our transaction hash. So you can actually check it by copying the transaction hash. Go into Arbitrum Support Test and Explorer, paste the hash, and you can see that 16 seconds ago, you have indeed moved an amount of USDC. And there's a small little fee that um, is performed. And you can go into your wallet. My address is actually, let me go check it out again. I'm gonna check my address to see all the details. On the token transfer, you can see I've funded 10 USDC and I have moved um, 0.1 USDC and you know there's a little bit of fees involved this is all happened without actually having if in your account and that is how you can set up a Pactra upgraded EOA wallet and send a gas-free USDC transfer using Circle Paymaster so what's next try it yourself follow the quick start guide the link is in the description. Join our community on Discord, which is circuit.com backslash Discord. And if this demo saved you even a little bit of gas, give it a like, share with your friends, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching and happy building.